Hello folks and welcome to another edition of BC Renovation Magazine. So in this video we're going to take a look at our new windows and ex exterior door units that we've uh, we've just installed. Uh, this is, uh, is going to be a little look at the finished product here. Um, at the end of the video we'll have a little photo montage of of uh, you know sort of the before and after and uh, a few photos of the uh, of the work in process so these were the original windows in this home uh, before not these ones these are the new ones and uh, so they uh, you know they weren't that energy efficient they were a vinyl sli slider window originally but uh, not efficient you know they were from 19 92 so you know um, the standards have changed a lot on on the windows since then these new windows are a low e glass which means that the uh, heat whether it's heat from the outside if it's like in the summertime when it's hot the heat is reflected back away from the glass so it helps to keep the uh, rooms the interior of the home uh, cooler and then when you're heating in the heating season it reflects the heat from the inside back into the room so it uh, it uh, keeps the uh, helps to keep the heat from heat loss from getting out the window they're also filled these are a, a thermal pane it's a dual pane there's two panes of glass and uh, the uh, uh, in between the panes it's filled with argon gas which is another energy saving uh, feature so when we install these uh, these windows have a nailing flange and the nailing flange is underneath that red tape there so basically the way we go about it is we uh, we get the opening all cleaned out we take the old window out get the old all the old uh, stuff off any old caulking or anything off and then we put this uh, tar paper around the opening and we always install the tar paper so it always overlaps so we start from the bottom and you can see how the sides overlap the bottom and then as we come up the top the, the top overlaps the sides and it acts like a shingle so that any water gets in there it's going to shed over the paper instead of getting in behind so once the uh, once the window was nailed in then we then we we seal the the flange to the to the paper with this red technical tape and this is just a 3m product um, it's a sheathing tape it's a it's a common thing you can find at the home center uh, easily found easily sourced and in this window here we're going to do something a little bit different we're not going to be doing uh, the trim like we did over here you'll see what we're going to do with that living room window in an upcoming video but all the other windows we have uh, done this uh, trim around the outside so what that is is a, uh, a five quarter by six trim and so underneath that trim the again the flange is being taped with the red tape to that tar paper and then as we were installing the uh, the trim uh, we put a bead of caulking on the window and then uh, sat the uh, the trim into that bead of caulking so you can't see that bead of caulking that's called back caulking and ultimately what we'll do here these windows have just got one coat of paint on them they'll be get now that they're installed we'll be giving them another coat of paint and then we will be running a bead of caulking around where the window meets the trim uh, of, of a clear of a clear caulking to uh, again double seal it so um, pretty hard for any water to get in there now something that we've done here, a little detail that you can see here is that uh, you can see how the, the uh, trim is uh, just sticking out a little bit from the window. This is a, what's, that's what we call a, a reveal. Um, it gives the, the windows a little bit of a nicer look. Um, and because of the depth of the, of the window itself and the thickness of that, uh, that trim material, we shimmed it out so we, we put in a, a layer of uh, material underneath there to shim that out so now ultimately what's going to happen here is there'll be a J trim going over that again this is all going to get painted and caulked so there'll be no raw edges there showing um, or 
you know, for where they're to get at. So that, that will that will be a uh, finished off now with a uh, vinyl J trim and then the vinyl siding. So again, that trim is a Louisiana Pacific product that we use. It's called Smart Trim or Smart Side. Depends on where you where you buy it from. Some of them will call it Smart Side. Some call it Smart Trim. Um, and it's the same product as what we used on the skirt board down there. Uh, again, that's a that, on the skirt board. It's a eight inch. The windows are a six inch to get the proper scale. Okay, so now uh, we'll take a look at the door unit. So we have two we have two door units here, and we've replaced both of them. And so this is uh, this is the front door. So now this this door here is a 32 inch wide door. The one at the back entrance is a, is a 32 inch as well. Uh, when I can, I like to make these front doors. 36 which is more of a residential standard um, it just uh, it makes for a nicer entrance way it just gives you more room to move furniture in, in and out but in this case it was just uh, it was pretty much impossible to make this opening bigger because uh, we have a pile of electrical in there and it's just not a not a good place to swing the door so so you have to be careful when you make things bigger that you make sure you have a place for it to swing So we'll take a look inside. Okay, so this is the, the door from the inside. And we, we like to dress up the doors a bit with a bit of leaded glass. And so here we have some leaded glass now these doors are insulated steel doors and uh, we just get them we buy their we buy our doors from Home Depot uh, Home Depot where we are has uh, some really good sales what's called special buys and what they'll do is they'll bring in things on a special buy and they're priced really really uh, you know really really well and uh, this this door would cost us it was just over two hundred dollars for this door so you know for a, a leaded glass door that's a pretty pretty good door nice price and we just have temporary construction locks on here for now uh, we also had uh, some questions about you know changing uh, doors in mobile homes like will a regular residential door fit and and, and yeah it, in this case it definitely is this is just a regular door. Uh, what we've done here when we installed it, we, I don't know if you can see that uh, kind of green board on the bottom. We put that green board down uh, there first and uh, we do that because we install uh, laminate flooring which has, which has some thickness to it. And if you don't do that, what can happen is then uh, you don't, you end up with not a lot of clearance under your door. So if you like to have a doormat uh, at your front door, it, the door can like rub on the mat so what this just lifts it up a little bit to sort of compensate for the thickness of the uh, of the floor that you, that's going to go down in the future so you know there's a lot of thinking ahead in these projects and if you uh, just think ahead you can cover all your bases and then when you get to the next stage you won't you won't have any problems and so also the all, all we did to change this opening we didn't do anything different on the width of it but we did up on the top. We did had to. We did have to build it down. So you can see the two layers of green material there that have built it down. But other than that, the width is. Uh, we didn't do anything to the width. So a very inst very easy installation. It's no problem. Uh, you know, changing doors. Unless if you get into some really old ones, like you know maybe from the '70s, you might have some problems with some of those, uh, you know, because they're 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 quite different from those really old ones. So you know, this being a 1991, it's not that old. So I'll take you into the living room here now, and we'll show you the these windows, sort of give you a look from the inside out. And for those of you that are just joining us. Um, you may not have seen the in, any of the inside uh, of this home yet. We've been working on the outside of it. And uh, the kind of way we kind of go about things is we, we do uh, all of the work outside during the summertime. And then we usually take a little bit of a break. 
and then when the winter weather comes, uh, it's when it's cold and snowy and rainy outside, then we work inside and finish it off and then put the home for sale in the, in the spring. So uh, it's about a year's process from the time we go at this. Basically, I work on my own and, uh, you know, so it takes, it takes some time. But this is the, uh, this is the living room here. Uh, I'm standing in the, what's going to be the kitchen. This window here will be the kitchen sink window. And if you, uh, if you remember what was here before, we had some old, really 90s style windows with the, uh, they were actually uh, two units in each opening there. So there was actually four windows here. There was uh, two big ones and then there was two uh, elliptical windows up above it. And we've uh, got rid of those ellipticals, that's kind of dated. And uh, we just wanted to open up the view here and uh, so this is a pretty big change from what was here before. And you can see, you know, from the living room here, it's a, it's a pretty nice view out this way. It's so one of the nice things about this park is they're not, you know, these aren't packed in here too, too much. These homes, they have a little bit of space. So this is just looking out the window at the deck and then down towards the driveway there. And so this window here is the, uh, is the dining area window. So this is what they look like from the inside. So again, these are, you know, vinyl sliders. And uh, this, you can see the, this is where the, uh, the, uh, the, the, what you're seeing there is the rough studs, the rough framing, the wood that's there. And uh, you can see there's a, this gap all the way around between the window. So the opening that, that is there in the rough framing is called the rough opening. And uh, that when you, when you open your windows or install your windows, you install them in this rough opening and you have this... Uh, uh, space around so when you install the window you have the space you've got to deal with that space and what you have to do is you have to put a little bit of insulation in there to keep cold air from coming in now ultimately uh, this when we finish this this will be putting a finished wood a finished trim in here uh, what's called a liner or maybe some people call it a jam extension jam extension and then there'll be a casing uh, to finish this window off So anyways, that's our, that's our new windows and exterior door units. And over here, I'll show you the, uh, this is the back door unit. That's the new back door unit. So again, we have a little bit of leaded glass in that unit to sort of, it matches the front one. So we carry the, the uh, you know, the leaded glass look through. And this is the, this is the master bedroom in here. Around the corner to the left is an ensuite. And then up at the front of the home, we have another, another bedroom and another bathroom. So thanks for watching folks and uh, hope you enjoy this little photo montage at the end that, that kind of shows you things in process. Uh, this was quite a job to install these two windows here, take everything out. Basically, that wall was, was dismantled, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a big job. This whole thing was opened up here. So thanks for watching, folks, and we'll see you on the next video.